In this video, I'll talk about the amount of substance. This quantity is very important to engineers because it allows them to work with small numbers for great quantities. As you know, a macroscopic quantity of a small portion of a matter contains a high number of particles. Therefore, a number of a great order of magnitude was needed to define this number of particles, and that number is the Avogadro constant represented by an uppercase n with a small uppercase a on the side. The Avogadro constant has a value of 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 and indicates the number of particles like atoms, molecules, ions, electrons that exist in a substance. With the Avogadro's constant, a new quantity was found, the amount of substance, represented by a lowercase n. Its international system unit is the mole and symbol MOL. The mole can be defined as the quantity of matter that contains the same number of particles, has a number of atoms containing 12 grams of carbon-12, the isotope of carbon with relative atomic mass 12, which in other words is the number of particles equals to the Avogadro's constant. The number of particles, represented by an uppercase N, can be found by the product of amount of substance with Avogadro's constant. For example, one mole of hydrogen contains the same number of molecules as one mole of silicon because they both have the same amount of substance. Another quantity worth mentioning is the molar mass. It has the same value as the molecular mass if considering a molecule or the relative atomic mass if considered an atom, and they can be calculated by knowing the molecular formula of a substance and the values of the relative atomic masses of the atoms that constitute it. Molar mass is represented by an uppercase M and is expressed in grams per mole. Concluding, there is a relationship between the amount of a substance, its mass and its molar mass, which can be represented by amount of substance equals mass expressed in grams over molar mass.